Uh, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Your character, Rose, has been adored by many and kind of taken in by this the Star Wars family. And um, people are dressed, I saw last night, the premiere people dressing up as her and everything else. That must fill you with such joy that people have embraced her and the character as part of the universe and that yes. will continue to do so for, for many years afterwards. Yeah, I mean, I think the this universe is so special to be a part of and um, Rose is such a special character. I mean, I don't think we've ever seen anyone like her up to this point in this universe. So it's really special and I love that people are loving her. Is it good to go, because I, I guess as, a, as an actor, you, you sometimes get to go back to roles and more often not you don't, but is it good that you get to go back and you get to kind of explore new things? Because she, her story, her arc is very, very interesting and she's she, obviously there's lots of going on. And in this one, we see different sides of her than we have in the last one. Is that good to go back and see kind of different dimensions to her? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it's good to go back and work with your friends you know, at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think as an actor, there's always more to explore in any character because there's always more to explore about being a human. So yeah, it was a great time. How was it working on a Star Wars movie? Because I can imagine it's a huge undertaking, but the great thing about JJ, and I was saying to Richard and, and Donald earlier, he likes things to be quite physical. He likes things to like to have sets and everything else, and just do the CGI where he needs to. Mm -hmm. Is that experience good? That it's everything at this kind oh, it's of the a, best. as an exp you know everything it's is kind best. of around you rather than lots of green screen. I mean, you have green screen, yeah. but you have the physicality there as well. Yeah, it's absolutely <clears throat> incredible to be working on a film where everyone building those sets and making the creatures and making the costumes. They're all artists and all at the top of the top of the top. So. Um, yeah, you just get to go in and play because everything's kind of just there. It's pretty incredible. When you came on to The Last Jedi, what was it about Rose and that particular story that kind of spoke to you and why you wanted to, to play that character? Because, again, she's 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 very interesting. It's something we yeah, haven't yeah. seen in, in the Star Wars movies. I, I loved the idea of someone who thought she shouldn't... Um, didn't belong at the forefront of the Resistance. Like, she was so enamored by these people. And then she became part of it. And I think that was huge for me. It's like very reflective of maybe my professional life, this idea that I never really thought that I could be part of this, but now I'm part of this. Um, I just love her so much. And the idea that she leads from love despite having, you know, her sister died in the beginning and, and having all this pain and resentment for the, the First Order, she still leads from love, which is such a beautiful, hard thing to do. Were you a fan of Star Wars before? Was 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 being a fan something that, that kind of pushed you to want to go and audition and get the part, or were you kind of introduced to this as you were as you were going? No, well, I wasn't a fan growing up. I my <laughs> um, during the seventies when Star Wars came out, my parents were in Vietnam, and the war was happening, so <laughs> um, they sort of missed the Star Wars thing, which is hilarious because they didn't come to the premiere this time. <laughs> I think I think they're like, oh, your war movie's cute, but we've already lived through a war. We're like done. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think that um, for me, coming onto the project really was about working with amazing people. Because uh, Ryan Johnson, and I was such a fan of his work and, and his writing and um, the, his ability to sort of get performances out of actors. And then this second time around, being able to work with JJ, who I'm also such a fan of, um, he's you know, made so many legendary, incredible pieces of work. So for me, it was really about working with people. Yeah, and those people, obviously, on screen, it's a family, but I guess Offset is what it was like a family. It must be great to have that kind of relationship with all those guys that, that yeah. kind of translate on, onto the screen as well. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, it's really, really special. Um, I think, honestly, that's the most important thing about this experience is sort of remembering the relationships that you made and all the things that you learned from working with incredible people and taking that with you and moving forward onto the next thing. It's really special. I spoke to Oscar before and asked him about working with, with uh, it's a great ensemble, but specifically Carrie Fisher because she was mm -hmm. such a an amazing woman and a bit. He he described her as a bit of a rebel and kind of a, kind of a great role in terms of Princess Leia that she is brings herself to to the role. What what was your experience of working with her and why do you think she's such a she was such an important person to so many people? Uh, I mean, I think <clears throat> her ability to be honest always publicly about um, everything it was just such a courageous thing to do. She was always 100% herself. And I think that that is really hard to do. She's so brave right. and just, yeah, I think that's so beautiful. Is it bittersweet now you're at the end that you're gonna miss Rose now that it's kind of over? There's, all, yeah. there's, there's still potential opportunities I mean, of course. for you and everything. But, uh, yeah, um, I, think, I think I will miss <clears throat> this time period in my life when I was making these movies. 
and I think I will miss sort of like living in her skin, but um, I think it, overall it's been a really special, wonderful experience, and I, I feel really grateful to have done it, and it feels right that it's sort of, you know, ending in this really big, awesome way. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Absolute pleasure talking to you. Thanks so Thank much. You so much. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!